Hi, I'm Mike. Welcome back to the shop. At the end of the last episode, I promised that I was going to hook up a two relay system for the uh, wipers. And I spent probably about six or seven hours trying to get that thing to work. It did not work. I will uh, share you with you my uh, um, wiring diagram for that. I'm pretty sure the diagram is right. I probably just had some problems with uh, grounding or the the switch was just too worn out to be able to make that work. I'm going to give that a, a try later on once I've gotten the entire system installed. Uh, but right now the wiper system is back to um, being um, at the stock condition. Um, instead, um, since the last video, um, I've gotten the uh, wiring for the rear harnesses, both the brake lights and the, the running lights, uh, and the uh, uh, oh, nice rain, and the uh, uh, boot lid uh, lights done. Uh, I was able actually to save all of the wiring, um, the rear harness. So I'll show you the process I went through to, uh, to clean that up and to install it uh, in the rear of the car. Now that doesn't include all of the wiring for the lights at this point. I've, I've just put the wiring in place. Um, but uh, I'll do the wiring for the individual lights a little bit later. But uh, you should see the progress uh, of how I saved that, both of those wiring harnesses and restored them. I hope you enjoy this video. This is the two relay wiper system that I put together based upon the information in the URL at the bottom of the page. If anyone has suggestions on improvement to make this work, I'm all ears. This is my cleaning station. I've uh, clamped the wiring harness against my lift uh, just to be able to separate them. I've taken each individual wire and uh, untangled it from the, the others so I can clean each wire individually. So these are the wires off of one of the rear main harnesses. These in, include the turn signals, the gas gauge wire, the green and black, turn signals, green and white, and the reverse lights, which is the green with the brown stripe. These are a bit of a mess. They're, they're better than they were when I showed you in one of my earlier episodes. I've cleaned some of the, the junk off of them. Um, these have been uh, coated a little bit with some under undercoating so they, they're really messy. Uh, I'm going to clean them up, hopefully save some money. I've got a couple of areas that are damaged so I'll have to replace uh, some, some of the sections but you get an idea of what I'm dealing with. I will be using um, a gas soaked rag to remove that, uh, remove this. That's the reason why I'm wearing um, gloves or rubber gloves. Uh, but I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. I've got one of the wires already cleaned. This is the purple wire. You can see it looks much better um, than the adjacent wire. So this process is working. Uh, just very tedious. Um, but hey, I got time. <laughs> this is about uh, 45 minutes later after um, washing all of the wires and gasoline. Um, it's not perfect, but I can see the color codes and there's not a whole lot of sticky junk all over everything. So I think I'm going to go with this. Uh, there's a couple of spots that need a little bit of help. Um, I had a short at one point on another, on another wire and you can see the damage from those shorts. Let me get a close up here. So what I'm going to do on those two sections of wire, everything else looks okay. Um, I'm going to um, cut these sections out and splice them together. Um, I'm going to uh, solder them together so that I've got a really good uh, connection here and uh, call it good. On both rear wiring harnesses uh, there is a ground circuit. Um, they both connect into the seat belt buzzer and since I've removed that I've snipped the grounds here. I'm going to trace that, make sure that um, they can either be capped off so that the, the ground circuit's not completed because it's a, it's a switch, it's a ground switch that 
um, when connected, um, then there is, a, there is a completion of the circuit. So I think they're okay to leave open. I'm going to do a little bit more research to make sure, but both rear harnesses have a, um, a ground wire that has been snipped. To make it easier to run the wires in the car, about every foot or so um, on each of the harnesses, the rear harnesses, um, I've wrapped uh, one or two wraps of the friction tape just to hold the wire together. To, again, it'll make it a lot easier to put it in through the, um, through the crevices in the car uh, and it'll be easier to manage the entire wire loom. This is a shot underneath the dashboard. You can see that I've got the rear harnesses uh, hooked up and I'm starting to route them along the bulkhead. There are three tabs which will hold the wiring in place. You can see that one right there. Okay, and then there's one on the inside. There, the wire is on it right now. And then there's another one down below. Um, each of these uh, tabs is a metal tab, and I'm gonna need to uh, cover them in um, rubber. Well, I'll, use, I'll use shrink wrap. Um, the, the wire is then run in a channel down on the bottom of the floorboard. So it'll, it'll be routed this way and then it goes underneath the cross member, the internal cross member, and then along a channel in the bottom of the floorboard. Um, the first connection to be made is the uh, brake handle. Um, the brake handle switch, that'll indicate that the brake is on, uh, on the dashboard, so that's a, br a black wire with a purple stripe, that wire will be run underneath the carpet to the to that location. Um, let's see, what else? So I've got the wiring all run from the dash all the way to the back. I've uh, got the wiring running in the slot that's designed for the wire run and I've taped it down temporarily with some duct tape. Um, as you look underneath the dashboard, you can see that I've got, let's see if I can get a decent look here. The wiring has been held in place with the factory connections. I've covered those uh, metal straps with um, shrink wrap, so heat shrink wrap, so it won't chafe the, the wires. Now, uh, first, the first wire to come off this harness, and by the way, uh, I'll remind you, I took, a, took all of the safety um, warning lamps off of the, the harness, but the, uh, so all the seat buzzers and seat belt uh, um, wiring has been removed. Um, the first wire to come off is the black and purple wire. That's for the handbrake switch, so that's running here. Um, that old connection is for the seatbelt harness uh, buzzer for the, the passenger side. That, I'm just going to retire that in place. It doesn't hurt anything. And then the wire is then run, I can get around here, up through the door, um, the door frame, and then through the wheel arch in the back, um, all through the, these can, um, passages. The first wire to be added to the circuit actually is, you can see here, if you ever wondered where the switch was for the boot um, lamp, that's it. And that's the red, sorry, purple and red wire that comes off and the switch actually also acts as the ground. So that wire comes off and I'm, gonna, I'm adding that into the wiring harness into the back. Um, and the, that'll run to the boot, uh, the boot lamp. So I'm gonna go around to the other side and show you um, the harness from there. Oh, by, by the way, um, notice uh, that's the seat belt uh, hole, so the wire runs behind that. 
and that is for the seat, uh, one of the four seat bolts. So the wire, uh, the wiring harness runs through that um, uh, <laughs> forest of bolts, or a couple stand of bolts, I guess. <laughs> Um, from about six feet away, this is what it looks like. I've got the wiring run through the wheel arch. Um, I've right now put to, put aside all of the brake lights, um, reverse lights, running light uh, harnesses. I will do that in a future episode. Um, and the reverse lights here. Um, I'm going to be putting in LED lighting for um, all of those circuits. Um, Again, future episode. Uh, made up the wiring harness, uh, taped it with friction tape here. This goes um, to, uh, there are three wires in that harness. Um, one is for the gas tank, that's the green and black wire, and that goes in here. And the other two, one is the purple with red wire, that's um, the, the ground switch for um, the boot lamp. And the other is the fused hot, um, which is the the purple wire here. Um, I'm also going to, uh, at some point in the future, replace the boot lamp with um, with LED lighting in the back. It, I'm only putting it in place right now in order to be able to test it and make sure the circuit's still valid. Um, the other thing I did was run um, a new ground. I don't know what happened to the old harness. Uh, I think it probably didn't make it or I lost it. Um, but I made up a, uh, a 12 gauge, that's probably overkill, but a 12 gauge wire um, for the ground. And I have uh, run that to one of the mounting bolts for the gas tank. So that goes directly into um, the body. Uh, so that, that will be a good ground. We'll, we'll of course test it to make sure it, uh, it all works. So that's uh, the running of the rear harness. Um, I'll put the, I'll do the, like I said, um, I'll do the running lamps and turn signals and all that in, the, in a future episode. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I always get a kick out of being able to reuse components and I was really happy that I was able to save both of those um, wiring harnesses. My next episode will be concentrating on wiring up the RTMR and making sure that that works. So I'm going to be putting the power to the RTMR, all the fuses, uh, all of the relays, and all the wiring that I've installed on the main harness. I'm in the process of doing that right now and it's going pretty well. So I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing that progress with you.